Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you guys for uh, these two transmitter um, very very cheap and uh, worth the price uh, this one is a Dumber RC 6 channel transmitter it's called the X6 uh, model and this one is from the Turbo Racing I believe there is another uh, uh, same transmitter carry under the Hobby Porter HP007 and this one is actually the Turbo Racing's TBTX2. Okay, uh, it's a seven channel transmitter. So, first, let's look at this uh, Dumber RC transmitter. It's a six channel transmitter, and the receiver uh, comes with a gyro functions. But there are two types of receivers, so you have to, have to take note. So, when you purchase, make sure you have select the correct. Uh, receiver so the this one X6F is a normal 6 channel receiver and this one the X6FG is a 6 channel receiver with a gyro function G I believe stand for the uh, gyro okay and for this particular transmitter uh, it is very comfortable and uh, very well built um, first the looks of this transmitter is uh, tra traditional type of pistol grip transmitter uh, doesn't have the, the display uh, it has some very very basic uh, setting features and it's using a 4 AA battery and it has a DST port here I believe it's very hard to see. Uh, let's see whether you can see it or not. It's over here, so yeah. There's a JSD connector, so I um, to make sure you can see it. You can only see it. Okay, here. Okay, you can connect your. Uh, lipo battery um, up to two cell and it has six channel as I say the first channel uh, the channel two channel three uh, channel three is a uh, two position switch button and the channel four is a three position switch um, this four channel actually you can uh, easily assess by using one hand to control okay and this is the on off switch and the channel 5 and channel 6 is here and it has some basic function as I say okay this is to uh, to do the setting for your channel 1 and this is for the channel 2 uh, on top here this is the normal and reverse switch for channel 1 and channel 2 and this is the, the dual rate for channel 1 and channel 2 and this is the trim for channel 1 and channel 2 and you can also enter into the setting mode to do the EPA for the channel 3 and channel 4 okay so basically you can do some very very basic setting for channel 1 to channel 4 <coughs> Excuse me, and uh, the transmitter also has a very special uh, mode. You can control the two uh, ESC dual motor. Uh, I have a video to show how to do a setting and how to enter into the dual ESC mode for both the old and new uh, version of the Dumber RC transmitter. So you may check the video and over here you have a port that for you to connect to your computer and another port is for you to charge your battery uh, i'm not very sure whether you can use it for the firmware update so far we have not seen any firmware update available yet and other than that uh, this is a very comfortable uh, very very uh, interesting transmitter it has six channel so i think this type of transmitter is very suitable for those crawler trailer 
uh, you can control your steering, your throttles, ESC, your light, your winch, and many other stuff if you want to. And this particular transmitter uh, comes with a gyro receiver, only cost me $20 with shipping. Okay, so it's really, really cheap. Uh, and performance is very good. Okay. Um, the next transmitter is this Turbo Racing uh, TBTX2. It has this uh, telemetry LCD. Uh, this transmitter it comes with the transmitter itself, a receiver, a temperature sensor, and a strap uh, a, a, a mount uh, for you to hang your uh, transmitters. Okay, and then uh, and uh, of course a menu. Okay. Very simple, very basic uh, transmitter, very easy to use. So, um, so this is the transmitter. Okay, yes, seven channel. Uh, this is the channel one, and this is the channel two, and this is the channel three. And this is the channel 4. And channel 3 is different from the Dumber RC channel 3. Uh, the channel 3, you press it and hold it. The server will turn and hold. When you hold the buttons, it will stay in the positions. And then if you release the button, it will uh, go back to the original positions. So uh, it's not like an on off switch, it's more like a reset switch. Okay. And then the fourth channel is also a three position switch. And this is the steering dual rate uh, setting button. And on top here is the steering and the throttle trim uh, setting button. And this is the channel five, channel six, and channel seven. Channel seven is similar to the double RC channel three. It's an on off two position switch and over here there is a, a LED light and on the other side it's just an antenna you can just flip it up and put it back okay and the on off switch is over here and it's using a you can it comes with this four AA battery uh, compartment with the JSD connectors and, or you can use a LiPo battery with the JSD connectors okay so uh, and over here is another uh, compartment you can uh, plug in your 2S and 3S battery check the voltage and also this temperature sensor to check your temperatures and let's uh, move to the settings of some basic functions okay on this display screen it basically show you some sort of like a speed okay and your uh, battery transmitter battery voltage and your model name models number and uh, this is the timer okay the timer is very very simple timer you just uh, okay, sorry i just realized you can't see it okay, okay uh, just start again this is the to show your speed and also use it to sh uh, to show your your speed your trigger if i press you see if i press my trigger okay let's see Okay, and the light also will show when you press your trigger, your throttle. Okay, and the voltage, the model name, model number, and the timer. And the timer is a very simple timer. Press, you start to count. 
and you press again you will stop and you press and hold it you will do a reset back to zero and this is the LED you press see the light sorry okay see the light and you press again you turn off okay and over here this is the cruise control buttons so okay you see you have pressed the throttle okay you press it okay up to like 50 50 and I press the button okay this the cruise control sign will show this is under the cruise control mode and you see I release okay it still stay on 50 and how to deactivate this you just push it push your trigger forward okay push it forward it will reset okay now uh, move on to the setting menu and this is the scroll button okay you can press the first menu is the model you can set your model model number one two three four five six okay total you have 15 model okay you can do setting for 15 model and this is the back button and go back to the menu and then you move up this is name okay, it's only allowed three uh, three digit or alphabet okay you can see w U T then this is the number okay show you better okay you can have many many different nine eight seven you can use a number and the uh, alphabet to to set your modern name okay and then you move back to the menu just press the back button then the next one is trim okay you press enter okay for trim you can do a setting for steering throttle channel 3 and channel 4 okay let's say you are in the setting for steering trim okay you can either do the setting by turning the scroll wheel or pressing the button here see okay so you don't have to go to the uh, setting menu you can do your setting for your throttle and your steering by using these two buttons over here okay and back next one is the okay throttle okay, back again then next one is the dual rate dual rate can only uh set for the channel one and channel two if i'm not mistaken okay the steering okay okay you can do your dual rate setting for your steering see okay and you can do the setting for your throttle steering again so only two channel and the epa steering first channel throttle second channel third channel fourth channel channel five and channel six that's all okay there is no setting function for the channels uh seventh so back and the exponential setting so again steering channel one throttle channel two okay enter you can see forward backwards okay how you set okay of course this is a budget transmitter it doesn't show you the curve you know of the settings like those uh, advanced transmitters but you still can do the setting for these throttles okay 
so exponential is only can be set for channel 1 and channel 2 and then the reverse reverse setting you can set your reverse setting for channel 1 okay channel 1 normal reverse normal okay and also your throttle channel 2 or channel 3 channel 4 uh, channel 5 channel 6 and back to steering again and so you can only do the reverse setting for six channel and then moving on is the ABS for your throttles on and off okay on that's all and then go to the next one is the problem steering mode okay this one is a very interesting normally will be used for uh, it's very useful for the uh, four wheel steerings okay so you press this is off you scroll up okay the first mode is the type a is front wheel steering B is rear wheel steering, C is a crab star steering, D is a normal like a front and rear opposite direction steering, so off. Then the next one is the SVC is a is same is a what do you call it the gyro functions okay so on for both in okay so and the fuel safe for steering or throttle okay uh, sorry fuel safe then the next one is um, reset and this is a territory for the voltage okay so now I'm going to show you uh, you just uh, open the cover take the battery and this is a two cell battery not the lipo battery is uh, a normal lithium iron battery okay so I already plugged in that battery and you press okay no then you okay this is not the 3s battery it's a 2s so it has no value so okay the second cell is 3.8 first one is 3.8 total 2s is 7.6 volt okay so it's a very very basic uh, reading um, uh, but it can't read through a radio I mean signal you have to plug into your plug it onto your transmitters and the next one is the temperature TT it has come with this temperature sensor so you just plug your temperature sensor to this port okay sorry So see 31 degree. So if I use my finger 32, 33. Okay. So this is the basically this is the temperature sensor. Again you have to use it through your transmitter. back to the model again so just press back to, back to the main screen that's all so uh, the the steering wheels is not over the form is uh, uh, not a soft form it's those uh, harder form but uh, the spring tension is softer than the dumbbell RC and one more thing that I would like to highlight it is the throttle trigger okay 
the feel is good but only thing is that the reverse has a very very uh, little travel you see I have yet to test this transmitter but uh, I'm not sure how this will affect the reverse all right and this is a chrome and you can use it to comb your hair I'm <laughs> just kidding and antenna I believe I have already show you just now and the LED light to show your throttle okay your throttle you see when your number is moving up your light will increase as well so then switch off and uh, sling mount okay then move on to the next one is the next item is this uh, receiver as you can see it has seven channel i'm not sure whether you can see the tray. okay this is much better so the negative positive signal so uh, channel one is at the bottom channel seven is at on the top and this is the switch and you can switch between the analog and digital servo okay, you see a little tiny switch inside you have to use some sharp uh, pin to switch the analog and digital uh, I will call it the switch okay and the uh, antenna is very short very very short okay as you compare to the another one you can see it's much longer okay so i think that's all for today and hope you like it and thank you very much